that there will be and there is and there has always been an exception to free speech, um, the Palestine exception to free speech, and that is pro-Palestinian voices cannot speak about Palestine. They are not entitled to that right. And it becomes evidently clear that when someone like myself takes an opportunity to make a stance, a public statement, um, such as my commencement speech, that they will be vilified. They will be attacked by government officials, by lobbying groups like the ADL and the Zionist lobby group, and by their own institutions. CUNY is also a public institution. And so we saw, or I witnessed firsthand, the lengths that different institutions go and to throw their own students here, in this case, CUNY, throwing their own student under the bus in order to appease their Zionist donors and in order to protect their interests. And I think it highlighted to me the very bitter reality that the truth, dissent, and revolutionary voices will always be treated as violent, will always be treated as um, illegitimate, will always be treated as, you know, not within the First Amendment right. Um, and that is because it threatens the imperial core to have one folks understand the situation that the reality that we live in and to understand that we hold a lot of power in our ability to criticize these institutions and our ability to just name the realities very clearly and in not being bought 